I mean, the point for me uh, in this film is that what you want to represent, actually, what you represent, what you like in life, what you like in Africa, what I like in Kinshasa. And often, I mean, what you see on, on television or in the news represent one part of the reality. But, you know, the sexy relation that we have with each other, all the tension, all the desire, all that creates the poetry of, of the city, you don't have that. And in Viva Riva, it was, like, was really, really important to have this type of moments that you can appreciate in your real life and you want, in a way, as an artist to witness. You know? And so you have that with the music, you have that with the, the street. And also, when I think about that scene, we, we start with the traditional music. And when you discover the female character, Nora, that's really a point where, actually, your desire is like driven by the atmosphere, you know, there is no power, it's darkness, you hear the music, and then you come and then you, dis you, dis you discover that beautiful woman is also that Africa. And it's also gritty and uh, kind of like wild. And because the scene that comes just after when the character Riva discover her peeing is fantastic, but it's also kind of poetry. And it's kind of like, uh, I don't know, it, uh, in my real life when I have seen this thing, I found them Fascinating. That's these are the type of things that I try to to share with the audience through the film.